Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. It's a beautiful Sunday. I know there's a storm supposed to be coming in today, but we'll be looking forward to seeing you in the services, and I'm going to be teaching you today on how to prosper in the midst of the storm. Right now, I want us to go back to the book of Revelation. As you look at Revelation chapter 2 and chapter 3, you find all of these revelations to the seven churches of Asia. And I want you to understand what is taking place here. When Paul, in the book of Acts, started the church in Ephesus, a great revival spread. And within a two-year period, the book of Acts says that every Jew and every Greek in all of what was then called of Asia heard the word of the Lord. They heard the gospel. The fastest, most explosive revival in the history of man took place in the area of these seven churches. Now, sometime later, we find a very strange thing has occurred. As we study the church of Pergamum, we find that Satan has moved his throne to the city of Pergamum, right in the middle of the seven churches of Asia. Satan moved his headquarters for all demonic activity. Satan moved his throne where he ruled his demonic empire from. He moved hit the center of his activity right into the heart of the seven churches of Asia. And there's a principle that I want you to learn here. And the principle is simply this. And it's a twofold principle. Number one, when God sends revival, expect a satanic counterattack. Because that's exactly what he did here. And you'll see horrible problems in each of these seven churches that are all a result of this satanic counterattack. But the second part of the principle is when Satan comes in and counterattacks, expect Jesus to do a round two. In each of the seven churches, he says, I come, I come quickly. I will come to you. With one exception, and there's implied, and then the other exception would be the very last of the seven churches, he said, I'm already there standing at the door knocking. The promise of revival came to these seven churches. Churches that have been part of one of the most explosive seasons of growth in the history of the modern church. Now, in the middle of the center of darkness, and Jesus said, his throne doesn't intimidate me. I will come back to each of the seven churches. I will come to you. Now, brothers and sisters, the cure for problems, the cure for darkness, the cure for sin in the church is revival. And all revival is, is God coming to his people. His presence coming into the people, Him walking among the lampstands, Him coming among us, manifesting His presence among us. All of a sudden, people don't want to just sit in church and text anymore. All of a sudden, they don't just go to church and want a one-hour dry cleaning service. All of a sudden, they don't want to go to church and look at movie stars anymore. When Jesus walks into the house, everything's about Jesus. May I challenge you? pray for revival. And the way to pray for revival is very simple. Jesus, we want your presence. Jesus, we want you to walk among us. Jesus, we want you to walk among the candlesticks. Rather than curse the darkness, ask for the source of all light to walk in. And the problem with darkness, it has to leave because the light has arrived.